Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a quick look at Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm Rich Walker and with me is Dan Webb. Hello. And this is just a quick kind of 10 minute overview of a bit of everything. A few missions, a murder mystery, Mate. dead body. Mate, 4K. 4K footage. 4K. It's looking super pretty. There's a pyramid, Dan. We're in Egypt. This was captured on Xbox One X? Xbox One X, yeah. So if you're wondering what it's going to look like on an Xbox One X, there Ooh, you go. You shiny, know. mate. So look at that lovely water. Uh, so this is a mission featuring a character called Jessica. Uh, we've got to rescue her from this island here. She's being attacked by hippos. You know what I learned from this, Dan? Hippos are incredibly violent. Well, are they really, though? Yeah. I found out that apparently they kill 3,000 people a year. Really? And they're the most aggressive and dangerous land-dwelling really? mammal. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that I know. All. It's nuts, isn't it? I didn't know this either What's until this, I played this. trying to hump your boat. I know. Well, I tried. I did a bit of research because I was like, surely hippopotamuses aren't as mental as this. Do you know what I mean? They like, are. They all are. you need to do though is put like a small. So I went to uh, this is a real right. off topic kind of. We're going off on a tangent here. I went to uh, a zoo uh, yeah. a couple of years, maybe last year or the year before, in Basel, mm -hmm. in Switzerland, and the hippopotamuses were like literally like you could almost touch them. They were, oh like, God, kind of, really? But. There was a tiny little kind of barrier, and it was only about that kind of big, like yeah. a foot tall. But because they can't lift their legs that high, they can't get uh, over the barrier. Maybe they're more tame in the zoo. Well, but I think it's just because they can't get the legs up over the barrier. Right, it's not I like they just fucking. I don't, I've never seen a hippo jump. I wouldn't trust them. Um, so anyway, yeah, you can take hippo hide from them, and then you can craft oh, new that. upgrades arm, and gear and stuff. On your shoulder. So yeah, this was um, an outfit I bought from a uh, like blacksmith vendor. So this isn't the default stuff that uh, Bayek wears. Bayek. Uh, but look I at this. <laughs> That's Every his name. Time Bayek like lad. Yorkshire. Bayek lad. <laughs> exactly. Bayek. Um, but look at the lovely wheat fields and everything. It's just it's it's so gorgeous, right? lovely. So this is going to be an example of like um, infiltrating a camp. Uh, which is kind of woven into the mission. Uh, so yeah, I'm going there can with Jessica. The, uh, the yeah, you can, you can hide in the in the wheat. Yeah, you can. In the wheat. In the, the wheat. In the wheat. In the wheat. In the wheat. So yeah, I mean, you've got lots of lovely deserts and sand. But do you know what? It being Egypt, I thought it'd be all like this, sandy and dunes and stuff. Yeah. It's not. It's quite a lush, quite fertile kind this of is before environment. A woman, mate. Well, exactly. Yeah. So um, yeah, so we're, um, it's a joke, folks. Don't take that seriously. Uh, <laughs> Full confession here, oh, Dan. Wow. I steamed in and tried to go full on violent the first time and I fucked it up. So this is actually my second attempt. So I'm going full on stealth here. Aggressive stealth though. Aggressive Clearly. stealth going Trademark. in. Yeah, exactly. Slicing him up, you know, because that's, that's the way to go. Oh, hey mate, hey, can you get in the house? You oh, can and you, you, can, you can attract him, but I figured I'd go for the more direct approach. You know, just, just go for it. Oh, uh, so oh, yeah, shit. you can hide in the... This is going to go to shit, isn't it? There you go, you use the haystack. Haystacks are back for Assassin's Creed, hooray! But there's, there's a dead guy. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's coming to explore, I think. And obviously the noise. So yeah. He's fucking mate's dead. There's another new thing, they're going big with the RPG stuff here. So you see that 15 above his head, that's his yeah. level. I'm a level 15 as well, you can't see behind our faces. But your level is constantly in the corner, so you know sort of where you are. So if there's a level 17 enemy and you're like a level 10, it's probably not a good idea to attack him. Like, okay. if you go to assassinate at level 17 and you're not leveled up sufficient, sufficiently, you'll only damage him. Okay, so I remember you saying in the office, four levels, was it, above, and you can't kill him? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I think Alice did an interview well, and she look said... Look at his legs when he's... T he's got this kind of weird little animation, where, but, like, yeah. walking backwards, like crab legs. <laughs> they tone, Yeah, they toned down the hidden blade, kind of just insta-kills. Okay. You can't do that anymore. What like, do you mean by the crab legs? I don't it's understand. just like you kind of just like <laughs> oh really crab scampering, people. scampering back. Maybe it's an advert for the South Park game. Maybe this Crabby. spear, by the way, I got from uh, a mission. Cool, it's a like a legendary one, so there's like loot in here. Wait, so it's smaller on his back though when it's out in his hand. Is it? Yeah. I didn't notice that, Dan. So you're noticing all these little things <laughs> I just didn't notice. Um. So yeah. You know, like in Destiny, whatever, you got blue and purple and whatever. This is a purple weapon. Oh, okay. <coughs> so, so I guess rare, like right? a legendary, yeah. Oh, yeah, legendary. Yeah, so um, I rocked that quite a lot. It's quite cool. Looks quite good. I like how the entire games industry has fallen into this um, almost unwritten kind of rule that 
yellow is epic yeah and purple is yeah. legendary yeah exactly um i'm only speaking from this game uh, assassin's creed yeah and that's uh, destiny which are the only two that i can think of uh, borderlands borderlands, borderlands yeah. that's, that, that adheres to that rule uh, diablo was kind of the one that started it all i'm guessing yeah maybe yeah, yeah i know I what you mean it's yeah. become kind of shorthand hasn't it now? yeah every every game does it um yeah because i think fortnite as well do it now oh really yeah okay like green is normal, blue is rare. <laughs> so anyway, that mission was resolved. I helped Jessica with her village that had been burnt and stuff. Uh, this is me. I really like the outfits and shit. Purchasing the Marauder's Garb. I so it's, it's like, here's a red one, here's a yeah. purple one. No, it's proper full, full outfits. So that one looked the coolest, so I bought that. So obviously this is a little bit out of sequence. So I bought this. Oh, before. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But this is just a quick look at the menu so you can see like how many gear slots you've got and stuff. There's those smaller icons. You can uh, get materials and do upgrades to all your stuff. It's like your uh, sort of arm guards and shields and all sorts. It's all upgradable. <clears throat> so this now is a murder mystery. So do you remember in like Unity and I think Syndicate had them too. Dogs. Doggos. Doggos. Uh, <laughs> uh, they were like murder mysteries. They're back for Origins as well. So I've been tasked with finding out what happened to this this girl. <clears throat> so these little eye of horus kind of hieroglyphics they show you where each kind of investigation point is. is is there any kind of current day stuff not that i've seen is it just no they, they just sack that off now I, I get the sense that they have because they've not talked about it at all really unless they're leaving it as a surprise yeah. do you know what i mean that's usually the case. It's usually one of those things where you go, oh, wow, I didn't know about this. Maybe they're just playing their cards close to their chest. Yeah, I've done that for a while, though, right? Maybe well, they, they, they sort it. of have. They did the first person stuff, didn't they, in Black Flag and... Um, yeah, that's a while. I can't remember. What what was it like in Unity and Syndicate? The, the, I don't remember anything in Syndicate. Well, in Syndicate, wasn't it like if you went outside the area, you, you still had the areas blocked up and stuff, so it was still oh, man, okay. memory yeah. based. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll be interested to see what, what it does with it. So here you've worked out that they've been dragged off there. Yeah. Uh, and like the or smoke, pushed. Or, or pushed. Pushed, yeah. pushed off. Yeah, oh, yeah pushed. Yeah. yeah. Moida. Moida. Um, and is the body going to be in the hay? Well, that's what I thought. So. There was a lot of me looking around this haystack thinking the body's been dragged into there. So that's why I faded. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> like three hours because later. Because you don't want to watch me just doing that. It's actually... Oh, look, you can see the, the Yeah, the trail, been... see. Okay. I didn't clock that till later on. So yeah, it's actually been put in the cart and there she is. She's been... Uh... He, wow, he puts his hands through the cloth. Uh, yeah. So she's been through a nasty ordeal, it looks like. See kind of cuts and things on her body and she's been yeah. dumped in this haystack. So, Yeah pretty nasty nasty stuff i've got to take the body back to the dude who gave me the mission and then i've got to resolve it I've got to find out kind of uh go and discover who did it it does look pretty oh it looks a great aside, aside from the odd little graphical quirks that i've mentioned yeah i mean this isn't finished the finished game is it it's no. you know there's still a, a What's little lip syncing like lip syncing's good it's quite good i mean it's not the best but it's you know it's pretty good what's Bayek like as a character Bayek's cool, I like him. I didn't think I'd like... He's one of those kind of slightly more dour characters, a bit like Connor, but I, I still... Know, from Assassin's Creed 3, but I still like kind of like him. Maybe he's a bit Altair-ish. Yeah, I think he's more along that kind of uh, end of the spectrum. Yeah. Badass. Yeah, he's Doesn't proper. Give fuck. Exactly, he's cool. So anyway, we track it, track uh, down to this guy. I missed the opportunity to assassinate him. Yeah, it's pr not bad. I mean, he... he, he you know, I lost this guy the first time. Again, this is my second attempt because I totally underestimated how... So this um, is what, like, when I saw this in the office upstairs, mm -hmm. uh, I did comment on how kind of Dark Souls it, it was, like, like yeah. also bloodborne Like, with the side steps and stuff, you lock on, yeah. and it's, it's more of, like, learning patterns and stuff as opposed to just yeah. encounter. Well, you know, like, in the original Assassin's Creed, it was canned animations and timing. It, that's gone. It's completely yeah. gone. It's all about... Wait, yeah, the little cat. There's a little cat just turned up. Yeah, they follow you around. You can stroke them and stuff. Um, sure. There's loads of different animals. So, this, wait, was that a horse you just got off? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I think so. It might or have been a camel. camel. I did get a camel. Um, so this now, I'm just showing that the towers are back. Basically, this is how we're ending the video. Cool. If there's any doubt that the towers hey, aren't in here, pyramids, yeah, then pyramids mate. in the background. Beautiful environments. I almost did a little dev pan, but I was like, no, I'll do it later. You can do it up there when we get to the top. Uh, well, I we think there's, the I think there's a built-in dev pan, mate. So uh, it's there always you go. A death pad, mate. So you synchronise towers still, but I don't know if it pops up loads of points of interest like it did. I think it's all just there. I think it's just an extra thing to okay. do. 
Oh, fast travel unlocked, of course. Yeah, that unlocks your fast travel. So yeah, that's it. And that was... Um, perception increased as well. Well, there you go. So that was Assassin's Creed Origins out October 27th. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yes, folks. Bye. Bye.